Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you all about intermittent fasting, a bit of a beginner's guide to intermittent fasting. I'm going to start with a little bit of my own experience with intermittent fasting, some ideas for a routine to follow and some of the benefits and some meal ideas too. So if that interests you, you're in the right place and I've also written a whole blog post with all of this information, I'll leave a link to that down below so you can pin, bookmark, save it so when you're in the frame of mind to learn all about intermittent fasting, this is a great resource for you. And if you're new to my channel, I've been on and off the keto diet along with intermittent fasting for the past year or two and I've shared all of my experience on the channel so make sure you subscribe to join the Yummy Inspirations community and if you'd like this video to turn into a bit of a series all about intermittent fasting, leave your questions down below and I'll film any future intermittent fasting videos that you'd like to see. So let's get into it. My experience with intermittent fasting, uh, when I first heard about intermittent fasting a couple of years ago, I thought there is no way I could do something like that. Not eating for a few hours, half a day, I would be hungry. I love my food too much. What's the point? There's just, I was dead set against it. So if you're like that as well, I, I know what your thoughts are, <laughs> I know how you feel about it, it's just, it's one of those concepts you keep hearing coming up and you just completely dismiss it. Well, I was like that for the longest time, even through most of my keto journey, I just thought, no, I don't need to in intermittent fast, I'm eating keto, all is right with the world. And then when I transitioned off the keto diet, as many people do, you get a little afraid that you'll put all the weight back on. So I kind of came up with a strategy that if I intermittent fasted, kind of skipped a meal a day, it wouldn't have such an impact on getting off keto and eating a more regular kind of diet. So I experimented with different types of intermittent fasting. I tried skipping breakfast, waiting until lunch to eat and that just didn't work with me. I got the hangries, I was just miserable all morning, that just didn't work for me. So I experimented with different times of starting and finishing until I found the perfect way to intermittent fast which suits me and that is eating between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. and then fasting from 4 p.m. until 8 a.m. the next day and I've been doing that for almost a year now most days and I don't beat myself up if it just doesn't happen because sometimes we'll be out late or when we're traveling or when if there's any family functions or celebrations that require me to eat in the evening I just I do it. There's no there's no point being upset or whatever. Some people actually find they intermittent fast intermittently, so they won't do it every single day. They'll do it a few times a week, work around your routine. That is the beauty of intermittent fasting. I don't see it as a diet. It's a way of life. Find it, find a way for it to work in your life. It if that is something you want to do because you don't have to intermittent fast. It's this not the only way. It's the way that I found that works, that feel good feels good for me for now. I'm just so passionate, excited, I can't get get my words out. So yeah, that's kind of my story of it. And so as I've kind of touched on, the different ways that you can intermittent fast is 16-8, which is what I do. Some people do 24, so they fast for 20 hours and only eat for a window of four hours. You could even ease into it by just fasting for 12 hours. If you finish up dinner at about 7 p.m., see if you can fast till 7 a.m. the next morning and then push it a little bit each side until you've got a longer and longer fast for what suits you. But also, little disclaimer here as well, speak to a doctor, a health professional, make sure that fasting is right for you. Don't just take the advice of someone on the internet. I'm just sharing my experience, the different options, but go and speak with a professional, especially if you have any health conditions, health concerns, then definitely speak to a health professional to make sure that you are safe in fasting. But as I said, I don't see it as a diet, it's a way of life. I feel better finishing up eating at 4 p.m. and the major benefit for me is that I just, I feel great in the evening. I used to often go to sleep and still feel full and uncomfortable from having a big dinner and that just is totally not the case. I will have a big lunch and maybe a snack just before four o'clock and then that'll take me through. I'm not hungry in the evening and in the past I was always hungry so it was just slowly training myself to just to not feel like eating dinner. So yeah, you could either skip breakfast 
or you could skip dinner, whatever you feel like works for you. And then do it as often or as little as you want every day or every few days. When I was traveling recently around Belgium and Netherlands, the first day or two, I did an intermittent fast because we got in late and we were hungry from a day of travel. So I had a light meal much later than I would have. And then once I was adjusted a day or two later, I continued intermittent fasting, which we found also saved us money because we didn't have to worry to find a dinner. We would just have big breakfast, big lunch, walk around all day. And usually the big lunch was filling enough that I didn't really feel like anything else to eat for the rest of the day anyway, but it saved having to find dinner and having to find the funds in our budget for dinner too. So yeah, while we're talking about the benefits, what are the benefits of intermittent fasting? Why would you even do it in the first place? I personally find I love giving my body a chance to rest and digest and just process what's been eaten through the day and having a good 16 hour fast means my body gets a chance to do that and I have read a few studies that shows that your body actually goes into ketosis so rather than being on a strict keto diet being in ketosis my body goes into ketosis every day naturally just from being in a fasted state and intermittent fasting also means I don't have to worry about dinner. So my husband and I intermittent fast, we don't have dinner. My kids do have dinner, so I usually prepare something small for them, or we kind of switch the meals around, and because we're all home, we'll have breakfast and lunch as full meals, and then their dinner might be more of what you would expect from a light lunch or breakfast. They might have a bit of a sandwich or some toast or something like that. Kids don't do low carb or keto. Um, they might have a bit of fruit, they might have just a bit of leftovers or whatever there is. They're not deprived. They're definitely having a full breakfast and lunch, all of the nutrition. It's just kind of spinned around in a different way, which I suppose when you're working from home and homeschooling, we kind of have that luxury of eating what we want to when we want to. But there are also loads of other health benefits of intermittent fasting. And I'll leave a link down below to a book which I found really helped me understand the whole concept of intermittent fasting. It's called Two Meal a Day and there's recipes as well as just all of the science and I found it really helped me understand it. I am not sciencey based and I'm not going to go and talk about all the scientific benefits. I do intermittent fasting because I feel good, I enjoy it, it works with my lifestyle and if you want to read up about the science that book is great for that. So let's talk some intermittent fasting meals. So if you are a person to eat breakfast like me, then some breakfasts that I enjoy are usually eggs. I'll have fried eggs or an omelet with maybe some radishes on the side, or if I want a big breakfast and I, I end up sometimes having breakfast much later than eight o'clock, it just tends to happen depending on the morning, I might make a big steak and fried eggs and mushrooms and just have a super big breakfast, super big meal to start my day off. If I'm a little more hurried, I might make some meal prep boxes, keep them in the fridge and pop into those some scrambled eggs, a bit of salami, some vegetables. So it's a good balanced meal that I can have quickly in the morning if we have to go out or if there's something happening, I can definitely have that instead. If you'd prefer to skip breakfast and just have a coffee and fast through until your next meal, then you can definitely do that. And on that note though, while I'm fasting, all I have is water. I don't have tea, coffee, bulletproof coffee, nothing. I just have water. Some people like to have tea or coffee or bulletproof coffee, but definitely look into it and be sure that you feel good doing that and that you're not consuming calories because that's the whole thing with fasting is to just let your body rest and digest. That's how I feel, but definitely do what works for you. And so then when it comes to my second meal of the day, it usually looks like lunch slash dinner. So it depends if I'm home or out and about. Usually I'm, when I'm, I'm home in Ireland, I'm definitely more home than out. And so I'll tend to maybe have a salad. Recently I made a beautiful big steak salad, which if it's not already on the blog, it will be coming soon. So keep your eyes out for that. And I had a big, beautiful steak salad. I might make silver side with some cabbage. Or if I'm having a veggie meal, I might make my broccoli casserole, which I absolutely love. And if I'm out and about, I'll tend to look for a burger. I just love burgers. I'll have a burger or because we're in Ireland I might go and have a pie or have fish and chips or something definitely anything goes for me for lunch when I'm home I tend to try and have a keto when I'm out and about I will have anything and we tend to only eat out once or twice a week so once or twice a week having a meal like that 
is okay. I feel good. I'm happy doing that. But the rest of my diet looks mostly keto. Sometimes I'll have some grains thrown in too, but it just, it really just depends on my day, what I'm up to, what I feel like doing. But yeah, that second meal tends to fill me up. It just depends on what it is. If I'm out and had a big meal, then I definitely won't eat anything else for the rest of the day. If I'm home and had, for example, steak salad or some silver side and cabbage, I tend to have another snack just before four o'clock. It might be a hot chocolate. I find a hot chocolate just before four will fill me. I am not hungry the rest of the day. Um, or I might have some strawberries and cream or just really a light meal. Or if I've made silver side, I might just have another small little plate before four. Just depends. I try and be as intuitive as possible. Listen to if I'm hungry, how I feel, what I'm doing, and then just just have what I feel like and eat between the hours of 8am and 4pm. 4pm is my definite cut up cut off time and in the mornings though it just depends on, my, on the mornings. My husband works out every morning. I get a bit of work done before homeschooling the boys so I tend to sometimes eat breakfast more towards 9 o'clock than 8 and I'll just keep going through and I don't really think about it because I tend to do a bit of work then. So yeah, if you're thinking of starting intermittent fasting, really think about why. A strong why will help you get through if you do it and then you find you're super hungry. Just think about why you're doing it and come back to that strong why. And yeah, you can definitely intermittent fast. Find a way for it to fit in your lifestyle. Find a way that you can do it that feels good for you. That's sustainable long term. And look at it as a lifestyle change, not a diet. As a lifestyle change to feel better within yourself, to just feel healthier. That is what I feel. But definitely, I leave it over to you to go and do more research if it's something that you're interested. Have a look at blog posts from the book that I linked to down below for more information. And leave any questions, comments you have, because I'm happy to film future videos about intermittent fasting. I've shared some in the past, which I'll also leave links to down below. So that will give you loads to read and to think about. Um, and yeah, connect with me in the comments. I look forward to reading it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more videos too. And thank you so much for watching this video all about intermittent fasting for beginners. I really hope you got some good information out of it. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.